Best green cast denim jeans. I love green cast denim and if you guys have been around on this channel long enough, you definitely know that because I'm very vocal about it. I just think that red cast denim is a little bit too clean. It's a little bit too perfect. Meanwhile, I think green cast denim has a beautiful, unique vintage feel to it. It just has a lot more character, has a lot more fun to it. And I think that the color just feels and looks more vintage, which is why I've comprised a list of a couple of green cast denim jeans that I would buy that I think you guys are gonna love. Starting off with the Nudie Jeans Rad Rufus Dry Emerald Selvage. These jeans have a beautiful, clean, straight fit, which I think is the perfect balance between the wide leg that everybody's been going with recently and the slim leg that everybody's been doing for years and years already. It's clean, it's timeless, and all of that coupled with the beautiful green cast fabric from Carabo and all of the construction details that Nudie takes and never skimps out on. I think these jeans are going to last a very long time and even longer when you couple that with the free repairs that Nudie Jeans offers when you purchase from their store or their website. I really love the construction on these jeans. It's always consistent with Nudie. Their branding is kept to a subtle minimum. The only real flash of branding that you get is on the back pockets, which really usually is not even that aggressive. And these jeans just fade down absolutely immaculately. They fade down to something with a really nice kind of almost robin's egg blue with a little bit of a yellowish overcast to it and it really just holds in the fades and the creases so well. Next up is the Lee 10Z 14 ounce green casts and what's interesting about these jeans is that they're actually a repro piece from I believe a 1926 or 1927 Lee jean which was the first model that they used with a zip fly so for those of you button fly enthusiasts you're really not gonna like these but if that doesn't really matter to you these jeans have an absolute beautiful character to them. The fabric is gorgeous. It has a really nice kind of crosshatch slub to it. And the details that Lee took on this in terms of the construction are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the double cross bar tacking on the back pockets, which I really usually don't see because a lot of brands don't really pay attention to that detail on the back pockets anyways, whether they're riveted or bar tacked. And they went the extra step and actually did a nice kind of cross design on there. And I love the way that that looks. I also really love the white selvage ID. I think it's just clean, calm, and classy. And I think that when the jeans fade down, it's going to contrast so beautifully. This pair of jeans from Lee is the perfect balance to me between American heritage tradition and Japanese workwear construction, which gives a really truly unique pair of jeans. Next up is the Benzac Denim Developers Greencast Denim, and I believe the model number is the BDD 711s. I think that's the fit. But regardless, if you search Greencast on their website, it's gonna pop up. And these, I actually believe, are a sulfur dyed core with an indigo top dye which actually gives a very sharp green when these jeans fade down. And the sample picture is crazy. These are something that has an absolutely beautiful character to them and is gonna become a very beautiful piece over time for years and years to come. Benzac is another brand that never skimps out on the details and they have a little bit of a branding on their own when it comes to the construction. I've always, always admired their six pocket selvage treatment right under the waistband that actually gets hidden by the belt if you want it to. This detail just feels traditionally Benzac and it also just gives a really nice unique flair that other jeans just don't give you. The fabric is really deep and immaculate in shade and Benzac, while I don't have experience with them personally myself, I have heard through word of mouth that they have absolutely expert construction and a real true longevity factor to them and these jeans are just made to last. Last we have the Slubby 70s Green Cast Denim from Companion Denim and these jeans are crazy. I mean I've never seen any over dye like this ever. The green that this jean has to it is just absolutely insane and while it is very saturated in color, it has enough of that indigo undertone to still be regularly wearable and I really would just love to see how a pair of these fades down because the way that these jeans look when you first get them is really just fucking crazy. And most of all, I really just love the different silhouette that these jeans have when it comes to the back waistband with the notch, the suspender rivets on the outside, as well as the back cinch. I mean, you can tell that these were definitely a heritage repro piece, and that's exactly what they're marketing them to be. And I think that they're just so successful at it. I mean, these jeans look amazing. I can't say this enough. I really love these. These might actually be my next cop. They just really give off that beautiful vintage heritage feel and the unique character that these jeans have is just insane. The only thing about these is that I believe that they're a made to measure piece 
or made to order. So you will have to wait quite a while to get these after you order them. But to be honest, it's worth it when you get something that's so special like this. If any of you guys have experience with these jeans, definitely drop down in the comments and let me know. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you guys so much for almost 500 subscribers. We're literally only about 40 subs away now and we're on the road to a thousand and I can't wait to see the great lengths that we go because we're all building this channel together and I listened to your feedback and I got a new mic and hopefully it works out because this is the test video for this new mic with the new audio because I really really do read your guys comments and I do listen I do take feedback and I always appreciate it and I always appreciate the new ideas I always appreciate the production ideas on how to improve and I really can't stress enough how happy you guys have made me that my voice is just finally being heard and appreciated thank you guys so much and i can't wait to see you for the next one